Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Ultimate Masters, everybody. Alright, so I actually ended up doing plenty of duels off screen. Take a look at this. I defeated Battery Man C, Ultima Yellow, Goblin King, Death Frog, and Water Dragon five times each. I actually lost once to Goblin King, and I almost lost to Death Frog three times. I'm not even kidding you. Literally all three times I dueled it, it came down to like, oh my god, there were crazy duels. It's just so much bullshit that happens in this against that deck. Oh my god, with stupid nightmare penguins and penguin soldiers and shit, and oh my god. Oh, and Treeborn Frog revival every turn. That's so annoying. All right. Anyway, um, we're gonna get some cards first before we actually, you know, keep dueling and then show off the tier three duelist. So, um, what I'm gonna be doing, because there's still plenty of cards that I want to get. Um, I sort of passed on Break and Magical Warrior for now. I'm gonna keep going for Legacy of Darkness until I get to at least a high percentage. Like I said before, one of the things you want to be doing is not dedicating yourself to just one pack. Uh, move on. After you get to 80 to 90, move on. Try again later because you want to have a good variety of cards so that you can complete the theme duels and a lot easier. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, because some of these duels are like, use fairies only, use thunders only. Like, what the hell? If you just focus on the same pack, you're not going to have a big variety and then you're going to suck in those duels, you know? So I'm looking for both Rhoda and... Um, uh, I was about to say Rhoda and Reinforcement of the Army. Oh my god, I'm a stupid ass. Um, Rhoda and Exile Force. I'm looking for both of those um, because they're both good cards. Let's see here. Ooh, three new cards now and a Fiber Jar. That's pretty cool. Uh, Tyrant Dragon, another very um, awesome card back when it first came out. <clears throat> Fame Plan, everything else is the same. Drop Off, that one's interesting. Marauding Captain is also really good uh, for warrior decks if you're uh, having a warrior build. In fact, if you choose Warriors, um, the hell's it called? Warriors Triumph? I was going to say Warriors Strike. No, I think it's Warriors Triumph, yeah. I think it actually comes with two Marauding Captains. Opticloth is a decent beat stick for Fiends, but Archfiend Soldier is better. Okay, I'm at 80%, so I'm just going to go ahead and do one more set of five, and hopefully I can get one of those. We'll see. I don't know. Oh, man. Um, okay, no, that's trash. <clears throat> what the hell is that? Susa Soldier? Oh, that's Susa Soldier. <clears throat> oh my god, sorry. That one's interesting. Um, basically, this card... It was interesting when it first came out. It's a, it's a spirit, so it goes back uh, to the hand. 2,000 attack. Uh, battle damage it inflicts is halved. And that's the only downside aside from it being a spirit. Um, it saw very little play when it first came out, but it wasn't the worst. There were definitely worse 2,000 beat sticks with four stars like freaking Flash's Island and Boar Soldier and all that crap. You know, those things are pure trash. Oh my god, are you serious, game? I didn't get anything. What percentage am I? I'm only at 82. Should I try to reach 85? Maybe I should. Okay, I take that back. Um, I'll just do four, though. I, I have a feeling that these four are going to make me reach 8 to 85. I gotta disappear. Oh, another bottom list. That's actually not a bad idea to put. Ooh, great decision on my part. Oh yes, I got a Rhoda. Come on, give me an Exile Force. Oh, I'm at 86. Okay, I'll take it. It's one Rhoda. Um, although I don't think I'm gonna be. Should I run Rhoda right now? I mean, I only have two targets in Dark Blade and DD Warrior. Like, hmm. I'm gonna move on to Invasion of Chaos now. Uh, this is actually a very pricey pack, unfortunately. Um, it costs 350 each. The, there's a lot of good stuff in this booster pack. Um, Composer Evacuation Device is a good one. This is actually good for burn. Um, everything else is pretty much yeah, pretty bad. Um, anything good here? Not too amazing. Uh, these two cards have piercing. They're good for beast warriors and dinosaurs. This is good for the mecha. What the hell? Mecha Fortress of Darkness. Oh my god. Totally. I'm fucking it up. Okay. Uh, ooh, look at that. This, this one was cool. Invader of Darkness. Levi Dragon is here. Freed is also not a horrible card. Um, it's all some play in the early Twilight decks. Granite Door is a 1900 beat stick. Uh, this thing is useful in a Legendary Ocean deck because it's a 5 star monster with 2400 attacks. So with Legendary Ocean, it's a 2600 4 star monster. You can just summon from your hand. It's um, uh, Giga 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 slightly better. But that one's still good. And then here we have Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Okay, that's for a water dex. <clears throat> okay. Nothing too good from there. I'm looking for um, Chaos Sorcerer, uh, Smashing Ground, 
Trap Jammer, then nothing nothing that great in that one. This is actually good for rituals. That's mind you of the ten thousand hands. Everything else is eh. And then this is really good for vanilla decks, Heart of the Underdog. Uh I suppose dedication through light and darkness is decent, but only if you're using Demoth with Dark Magician specifically. Matazo Zapper is a pretty good warrior monster. Uh Neil a uh, bunch of garbage. Okay, well. I'm at 43. Man, this is difficult, huh? To get these good cards uh, that I'm looking for. Let's keep trying. Come on. Smashing Ground and Chaos Sorcerer, please. Okay, that, that was useless. Oh, look. There's Giga Giga Giga. This is the better one. It's 2450. So it's 50 points better than Terra King Salmon. Um, Robin Zom. Uh, that's horrible. Uh, that's trash. Although, this is actually a really good card for trolling, which is why the card is actually forbidden. <laughs> Um, another Manju, Dust Kangra, nothing good there, and nothing too good. This is actually decent in some decks when you want to create lockdowns and stuff, DNA transplant, but damn, I am not getting any of the, any of the good stuff. I really am not. Well, <clears throat> let's try again. Here we go. Trash. Oh my god. Four new cards, but they're all pretty bad. Yeah, Dark Mirror Forge is a terrible battle trap. Um, nothing good there. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Okay, that's a 1900 beat stick at least. Do I need more 1900 beat sticks? Stray lambs. There we go. Smashing ground. That's that's good. Composer evacuation device is also here. That's not the worst thing. Huh. You know what's funny about this card? This card is actually interesting. Um. By banishing two water monsters in your graveyard, special summon one token and an attack position on your side of the field. That is not once per turn. A lot of cards that have um, swarming capabilities um, don't have once per turn, to, but I'm surprised that this card doesn't see... I mean, it, if water decks in general were a lot better, I think it would actually see some play, honestly. Because if you can find a way to just dump a bunch of waters in the graveyard, you can literally just go plus five in cards on your turn, you know? <clears throat> Which is very interesting. Oh man, I can only do two. But yeah, so I'm just saying, you know, you can use all those for like links and stuff. Um, but yeah. Manticore, this is actually pretty decent too, I remember. Um, but okay, it was actually semi-limited at one point because of freaking loops and shit. But, well, no Chaos Sorcerer, sadly. Well, you know. Sometimes this is how it goes, right? Alright, so I got in, um, I got a Smashing Ground. And some more bottomless trap holes, so... I am gonna... Should I put that second one in there? Huh, I honestly don't know if I should, because I was winning on Breaker, but I also didn't get freaking get Breaker. Um, anyway, I should probably do one more beat stick, because... Okay, let, let me show you something here, because... In terms of, like... Hmm... That's where it becomes a little tough. I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, so I can get rid of Dark Blade, and then put... I can also... One thing I've kind of noticed is that I have... Oof, mm, okay, this thing... I definitely need more Beat Sticks, so... <clears throat> I'm gonna get rid of this man -eater bug. I don't think I need three man -eater bugs. And then for Spells and Traps, I mean, I'm at six traps right now. I've been thinking about getting... Yeah, you know what? Get rid of that. Okay. Um, so what I want is... Uh, what the heck am I looking for? Bottomless. I can put up to three. I'm not going to put three bottomless trap pools. That's a little too cloggy. Um, what I will do, though, is go over to that smashing ground. Whoops, I went way too damn far. Uh, where is it? Why am I so blind here? Dude. Oh, there it is. Shit, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Put it like that, and yeah, so that's that's gonna go. I think that's fine. Uh, the next spell cards that are gonna go are probably gonna be Malevolent Nuzzler and Rush Recklessly, but I don't know what I'm gonna place them with yet. Um, I have probably one too many... Well, actually, I might have to get rid of a Fissure, because I don't know, now having three Fissures and one Smashing Ground might not be the best thing, but we'll we'll see, right? Okay, I'm gonna go... Okay, so here's here are the opponents. I already dual Red as Darkness Dragon twice. There's Vampire Genesis, Infernal Flame Emperor, Ocean Dragon Lord Neo Daedalus, and Helios Duel 
Magis. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. We're going to take on this Vampire Genesis. Okay, this tech can actually be pretty good. Um, there are some problematic cards. Pyramid Turtles are freaking annoying because they're going to float into a Ryukaki, more than likely. Uh, Book of Life can be a problem. It also messes with your own monsters. Basically, it stops you from using like cards like Premature Barrel and Call of the Haunted, and it also is a monster reborn for them, which is crazy for zombies. Um, Call of the Mummy can also be fairly useful. Um, yeah, see? Because if you don't control any, you can just bring an easy one like that, and it is very difficult. Luckily, I have Snatch Steel. But, hmm... I'm going to destroy the Pyramid Turtle, because if I destroy the Vampire Lord, it's going to come back. And <laughs> that's not what I'm... Yeah, that's not what I'm looking forward to. Monster. Okay, i got to send a monster. Um, I'll send... Let's send the Mag Magical Merchant. Because I already have one in the hand. I don't want to draw another one. Okay, let's see here. Skull Dark Magician. Yeah, the only, the only play that I have here, because I can't smash and grind you. I mean, I can, but you're going to come back in your standby phase, which is pointless. So I'm going to snatch steal you. That's literally my only play. I'm also going to summon this. And then swing for... 3,900 damage. Yeah, Vampire Lord was a really good card back when it came out. Like, uh, I'm going to have you get rid of spells. Because fuck that shit. Well, that wasn't too bad, but alright. Yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, 2,000 attack monster, one tribute. It's interesting, right? Uh, obviously, the, the biggest reason why... <clears throat> it wasn't really the bleed effect. Um, it was more so the revival effect. Well, then... Wait, why didn't you... Dude, that was like your only chance to... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Well, no, you're 2,000, right? Oh, no, yeah, you are 2,000. Okay, never mind. Um, basically, this card, when it's destroyed in battle and sent to the graveyard, okay, so basically, if I destroy it outside of battle, like by a smashing ground, it won't revive. You can also premature burial. Okay. Mother Grizzly, and actually, I think that's game. I'm pretty sure that's game. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, dude, I meant attack, not details. Alright, so, um, we didn't see too much of the deck here, mainly because, um, I got a little bit lucky by snatch stealing the Vampire Lord, but you kind of saw the potential of this deck here. Uh, let's just see what else we got. Yeah, that's another problem. That's another problem there. Zombies are notorious for, um, being able to arrive in the graveyard with cards like Book of Life. And I'm pretty sure it runs Premature Barrel and Call the Haunted. Um, as well as Vampire Lord reviving, uh, that other vampire card that you just saw right there. Uh, the, all those things revive from the graveyard. And if card is safe for turns in the field, the user gets to draw one card. Every time a monster gets special summoned from their graveyard. And let me tell you something, it is not once per turn. That is ultimately the reason why that card is banned in real life. Um, it will never come unbanned unless it gets an errata to a hard once per turn. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this, and set this, and end the turn. <clears throat> okay, pretty decent starting hand, honestly, I like it. I got Snatch Steel again from the beginning, so that's good. Oh my god, really? Well, I can look through his deck here. Okay, so all five of these cards are already, that, are already good, as you can see. Regenerating Mummy is actually one of the least useful cards in that structure deck. Spirit Reaper, another problem. Sangan, obviously good. Okay, Vampire Genesis is trash. Um, Heavy Storm, real cocky, pretty good. Curse of Vampire, that's the one. That one's okay, it's not that great though. Real cocky, yeah, that's a problem. Goblin Zombie as well, totally forgot about that, that that one's in this game. Two Vampire Lords. Tribe Infecting Virus. Um, overpowering Eye is pretty bad, okay. And two Spirit Reapers. That deck is pretty deadly, honestly. Holy shit. Um, I'm gonna let you attack me. Okay, so here's the thing. What do I do? I do not want you, you to float. Do I just snatch steal you? I think that's my only option. Brain Control's not gonna work, only for one turn. That's pretty bad. Um, okay, I'm gonna summon first. Okay. I'm gonna snatch steal you, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry that, um, you know. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, crap. Hmm. Interesting. Well, in that case, I'm gonna have to just, uh, yeah. Oh my god, I hate to do this, but that probably wasn't a good idea. I don't know. I'm like, do I attack or do I not, you know? Shit. There's, yeah, I'm telling you, that's, that was the class of combo back in the day. Pyramid Turtle into Ryukaki. Okay, um, so I have a magic cylinder that can negate that attack. Other than that, though... Oh my god. Uh, no, actually... Oh shit, I'm so, I'm so stupid, why did... What I should have done is set Rush recklessly. I know that I totally misplayed. My bad. My bad. It's okay, I can just do it in my turn right now. Call the Haunted, okay. Um, yeah, all I can do is just, uh... Oh shoot, wait, hold on. Did you include Fiends? No, it's Warrior or Spellcaster, oh my god. Yeah, it, basically if it battles Warriors or Spellcasters, it destroys a monster at the end of the battle. So it's a very good anti-Warrior and Spellcaster card, so... Just saying. Okay, uh, main phase two, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, Call of the Haunted, and end turn. I think, oh my god, is this really what I, well, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to do it. So I don't have any monsters in the- really? Oh my god. Um, okay, all I can do is attack and then set in main phase 2, so... Wonderful. Just wonderful. Um... I mean, I can get rid of that with either Man Eater Bug or Brain Control, because if you target it with any effect, it gets destroyed. Oh shit, okay, that's the reason why I was afraid of Bottomless Trap Hole. And I totally just screwed it up. I knew I, sh I knew that car was not worth the bottom of trap hole. I'm so damn, damn, damn. Okay, uh, what card do I not want to see right now? I guess man eater bug, right? Well, technically all these beat sticks I don't need either. So you know what? Get rid of this dark blade. I don't want no fucking beat sticks right now. Actually, no, no, never mind. No, it would work. It would work because. No, I think I won regardless, because you're only at... Wait, hold on. One, two... Actually, no, I haven't won yet. What am I talking about? But I got Duty Warrior Lady. Um, which means... No, I did win. I did win. Oh my god, I, I, I can't make up my mind here. Jesus Christ. I won. I'm pretty sure all you see it. Um, I'll get this guy. No, no, no. You. So the reason why I won is because I can do that. I can summon DD Warrior Lady and then use Brain Control. If your life points were any higher though, that would not be it. Um, so... Yeah, we're just gonna attack now. Fifteen, nineteen, and two thousand with Vampire Lord. That's it. That is game. Nice. Nice for me, right? Alright, so you're down. Next up is Infernal Flame Emperor. To be honest, I don't think this deck should give me that much of a problem. Um, when comparing all these early structure decks, a lot of people consider this one to be one of the worst. This one alongside Dragon's Roar. The main reason why is because it just doesn't function that well. There's not enough synergy with it to be able to utilize combos. The big key uh, of this deck is Ultimate Baseball Kid. But, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and summon... Archfiend Soldier and then just... Well, I guess I could've... Could be Storm first, but... I mean, the other thing is that even though I'm mentioning Structure Deck, as you can see, even... This guy just activated Bottomless Trample. That card is not in the Structure Deck. Oh, look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Ultimate Baseball Kid gets scary real... Wait, who's attacking? You? I should probably just... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> yeah, um, the reason why... Let me show you the effect. 
Increase the attack of this card by 1000 points for each fire monster in the field other than this card. Right now it's at 1500. Uh, send a fire monster other than this card to the graveyard to inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. It's interesting. Having at least two monsters, two others, brings it up to 2500 alongside the attack of the others, and you can tribute all three for 1500 damage. Crazy, crazy stuff. Alright, um. Are you really gonna have another trap? Am I really gonna fall for it twice in a row? I totally am. Oh, I totally am. You know, it's fine. It's all good. No, actually it worked. Okay. Do I dare set call the haunted? No, because I don't have any monsters in the graveyard. So screw it. I'm gonna actually wait. <clears throat> Hopefully you set another card so I can heavy storm you. That's the plan. Well, you know, that's also pretty good. Why didn't you revive the other guy? The other guy's back. Oh, okay. Well, okay, now I think it's worth a heavy storm. So I can get rid of your two cards, I guess. Well, is it really, though? Just do it. Just freaking do it. It might not be the best move, but... Solemn Judgment. Okay. Um, I'm gonna summon... Diddy Warrior Lady. Let's enter the battle phase. You can attack. Oh, it's a Raging Flame Sprite, huh? Uh, no. And then Mother Grizzly for 14. Okay. Set Call of the Haunted and end the turn, even though I literally have no targets for Call of the Haunted. Oh my god. <laughs> I saw that coming as soon as you tributed the first one, like, Jesus. Um, okay. Well, you're gonna give me the game, though, by doing that shit. Oh yeah, no, I just won. Yeah, I'll take a thousand, but who cares? Lava Golem can still attack. So, you have lost. Do that, and then Premature Burial. Yeah, Lava Golem still... I mean, since it's released, Lava Golem has always seen play. Never a huge play, but it's also a card that has not been just completely ignored, you know? Because, I mean, it, it, it's interesting, like... When compared to, um... Like, let's say, cards like Kaijus. Yes, Kaijus usually have more more play, especially Gamma Seal, having really low attack at 2200 for that kind of effect. Um, but one of the biggest things that made it a little bit different and unique is that Lava Golem sacrifices two of the opponent's cards. Uh, that's ultimately the reason why Kaijus essentially power crept Volcanic Queen, because Volcanic Queen only has one, you know, uh, requires one tribute. Um, and plus, Lava um, Volcanic Queen only inflicts the burn damage at the end phase, which means the opponent can do something to get rid of it on their turn, which is real bad. Lava Golem, as long as it stays for your whole turn, is going to guarantee a thousand damage to the opponent on their standby phase before they can do anything with it. You know, before they link it away or whatever. Uh, oh my god. I knew that was a bad idea. Oh my god, look at all these broken cards that every freaking duelist has. Are you really about to kill yourself? Yeah, I guess you are. Yeah, you, yeah, you do that piercing damage. Alright, well, I'm gonna special summon another Mother Grizzly. You're gonna get destroyed at the end phase. Yeah, basically, I think it's a 2000 attack monster with piercing, but it gets destroyed at the end phase. You can also tribute fires to, like, buff up its attack or something like that, which is pretty interesting. Anyway, I'm going to do uh, 2,800 damage. I mean, despite you heavy storming me, I thought that was going to be super devastating. I mean, it was, but I'm still in this, so... You have one more card than me on your turn in terms of card value, or card advantage, I mean, my bad. Oh, Solar Flare Dragon, okay. Uh, the worst part is I can't get a search. Hmm. Don't even bother with that, just press B. I'm also going to take 500 damage. Okay. Okay. Um, I think the best move is to do this. Let's bring out Mobius. There we go. And I'm going to set that. Enter battle phase and then swing and do 900 damage. All right, that's it.
Hmm. Either just a set. Okay, well, I'm just gonna head straight into the battle phase and just attack that monster, whatever that is. Ultimate baseball game. For the main phase two, um... I'm gonna set a man-eater bug. Well, a little difficult to know which one is set there, but... Okay, that's garbage. Foxfire. What? Oh my god, I thought you were gonna attack. Like, what in the world? Okay, um... 24 plus that's 38. Uh... Wait, who do I have here? Okay, this is actually bullshit, because, um... 24 plus 14, that puts you at 3,800. Oh, are you serious? You're 50 points away from losing. Oh, unbelievable. That happens way too often to find, like, what the heck? It's like the Yu-Gi-Oh gods are just against me, man. My plan was to flip the man air bug, destroy Foxfire, and attack with all of them. But that wasn't gonna... No, because see? That would've put you at 500 and the man bug attacks for 450 and you're at 50 life points. Unbelievable. I just found it to be such a huge coincidence, you know? Oh god, and now this could be a problem. Well, not really, because I have man bug plus a fissure in the hand. I could, yeah, that, it's all good. I'm gonna destroy this thing. You lost. Because you put weak monsters in attack mode, so. Sucks to suck. Yeah, yeah, if I just attack with, uh, yeah, that's 900? No, sorry, 1100? Yeah, that's it. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so you're done. Next up is Ocean Drangalore and Neodatalus. Um, I'm only gonna have time to do one duel here, as you can sort of see, but... Yeah, because I'm up to, what, 27 minutes? Running out of time here. This one's gonna be, uh, more tough and more difficult than the last one, for sure. It can be a huge problem. But, luckily, I actually have a fair amount of water monsters, to the point where his Legendary Ocean also benefits me. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, I did not want to start with two Mother Grizzly. That's not a good sign there, but... Hmm. Okay, this might be a good play. I hope you actually set two cards. That'll be really good. That'll um, set it up perfectly for Mobius. Hmm, only one. Is that really worth it? I don't know. The thing is, it could be a problematic card in the back, huh? You know what? Fuck it. Just go with it. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Nope, it did work. Okay, so... I don't know what that is, but... Hmm. I guess I'll figure out eventually. I'm mean, gonna have Mobius that I can use at any time. Okay, you're bringing it back. Ooh, sadly that's not gonna float. My mother grizzly. Damn it. Okay, you discarded Leviathan Dragon, holy shit. Alright, that's pretty bad. It's not the worst thing because I, I can still... I'm gonna say yes. No target and it shuffles. Just to shuffle my deck, you know? Fissure. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the same play as before. Just go ahead and normal summon and attack you. There we go, and uh, main phase 2 I actually have to set a card, or else I'm going to have to discard. Oh my god, Fenrir, okay. Hmm. Alright, so this actually sets it up perfectly for Mobius. Uh, that's what I'm going to go for, and if this works and Mobius doesn't get destroyed, you are in a really bad position. Yeah, be careful, remember, it always auto-targets you first. You have got to not mash A right there. Tornado Wall and Gravity Bind. Whoa, okay. Um... 
You know what? Sure. Just to speed this up, you know, I'm also going to do this. So I can potentially win in two turns. That's if you don't have any other monsters. You, all you did was special summon and not normal summon or set last turn. Which gives me the impression that the two cards in your hand are not monsters. That can be normal summon or set. So if there's a good chance you may not normal summon or set a monster this turn. Damn it. You top deck one. Shit. Well. Hmm. I'm gonna have to, uh... No, but the thing is, if I creature swap, that shit ain't gonna work because I'm not gonna win this turn. I'm gonna get greedy and attack with Archfiend Soldier. Hopefully this works. Yep, that's a victory. Okay, that's good. So that actually is it for this video. Um, I made some pretty good progress, that's for sure. Alright, so um, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.